Usually, on the weekends, I love to stay up and play on my Mac. A little bit of FPS before I drift up to bed. Every weeknight repeats and doesn't phase out my interests. Around 1am is when I get tired and I lose the willpower to continue my conquest for the best player on the server. I'll get a glass of water, brush my teeth, and then I'll fall asleep almost instantly. Recently, certain events have delayed my late night schedule. An occurrence through my living room window and out through the porch. I see a grid-shaped array of infinitesimal lights glistening, almost dancing in the neighbour's window. This wasn't the first time I've noticed this. My room is directly above the living room and the porch has a roof that goes out to my window. It's identical to the one in the living room. So sometimes I'll go out in the porch roof at night and I'll stargaze for what feels like days. I snagged the view of lights in my peripheral vision and I thought nothing much of it. At first, I debunked it as headlights from the main road a hundred feet away. I didn't put much investigation into it until that Saturday night. I threw on a pair of shoes and I briskly walked up the street to see if this array of lights could be monitored from an alternate location. The timing from the cars was off by a long shot, immediately opening up new possibilities. My neighbour could just have old Christmas lights set up on a timer, or they could be phantom lights in a stranger's backyard. I don't think it was anything paranormal or anything to take seriously, and I certainly never thought of it as a threat. Like maybe my imagination got the better of me. Later that month though, coyotes were reported in the nearby woods less than 50 feet away from a woman's house. So I stopped by to warn her about the presence and I thought, while I'm at it, I really should ask her about the lights. We chatted for a bit and then I managed to weave my way into a reading area right by the window where I'd seen the lights. I peeped out and there was nothing. I left through the backyard to see if there was any floodlights out back. Nothing. A few weeks later the coyotes apparently migrated elsewhere and the sight of the lights had become increasingly common. I did begin to get more edgy since the lights were right out my window. Three days later, a fisher cat made its way to the neighbourhood and had badly mauled several normal cats. After the fisher cat left, things seemed to get a bit of whack. The next night, at around 12.55am, a good friend of mine from up the street heard a cat fight had happened. His cat had went missing as well, so I set out on foot to find him. Of course I didn't find anything, so I went back and I comforted him, and then eventually went back home to bed. Now within the time span of several days, more animals had gone missing, and I went to go check in with the owner of the house with the demonic lights, and she said she'd been hearing a high frequency noise at night, and it almost deafened her left ear. So I went to her backyard to see if I could see anything, or any leads towards anything whatsoever. Eventually I went down to her bulkhead and an awful smell dissolved the hairs on my nose as I took an accidental breath. More interested and paranoid than ever, I made my way down the stairs. As soon as I'd opened the door to her basement I heard the scurrying of feet and the rambling sound of someone trying to cover something up like a kid with his vegetables. I slowly opened the door and I froze with the uttermost horror the human eye could witness. Several half-dissected feline corpses with their legs and torsos ripped in half, connected by what seemed to be the intestines. Dogs cut open by the ribcage, the list goes on. Blood seemed to be the choice of paint. The smell of rotting carcasses and faecal matter was unbearable. I fled faster than the speed of light and called the police. The older woman was detained, claiming all of this wasn't her. And I vouched for her. She was eventually placed in a nursing facility and the lights were never seen again.